I'm Anton from Zest Coffee. I founded Zest back in 2008 out of passion, passion for coffee. Zest is a family owned business. We're based in Melbourne. Family values, very small business. And for many years we flew under the radar. People didn't know about us, but we were slowly just building our brand, building our qualities, getting all the, all the aspects right. And always striving for, the, pushing the boundaries for that better coffee. As I say, a long journey, many years, but this being on the, on the Jack Marat farm is going to be a massive milestone in my coffee career. It's been a brilliant opportunity, it's fantastic. Just to, you hear the cocks crowing in the background, the dogs barking, the eagles soaring above on the thermals. It's just a fascinating place. When Dad uh, came out from Europe in those early days and in the 1920s. Name from that country was Humet from the back of the Albanian background. Coming here, everyone just naturally called him Jack, and it just stuck. And we named the plantation after him, yeah, just to keep it in, in the family. So this is our first plantation of 50 acres. It equates about 150,000 trees. Done the same thing on the next field. We've gone in 50 acre lots, so we've got another 100 acres adjoining this field. I finished school and I just Went straight into uh, farming with Dad at those early days and uh, just loved working the land eh, and watching things grow. And I used to grow peanuts, corn, and other varieties of cropping, and we just ship it over now into coffee production on this side of town. Yeah, it's a challenge, absolutely, but I really enjoy it. It's fantastic to be able to do this in Australia. We've travelled the globe, um, but, but this is sort of on our doorstep. And we're at a point in time where people are really enjoying Australian produce. Australian made is really becoming more and more popular. The ultimate goal is to, is to create awesome Australian coffee. And where you've got a small farm like this, it, it's a perfect opportunity to, to really put in the hard work and create something great. I'm not saying we know everything, but we're learning together. And it's just an experiment. It's, you know, we, we, we're trying a whole lot of different methods. And at the end we'll say, hey, that works. How can we scale it up? We are at the Jack Morat farm and uh, we decided to do as many different processing techniques as we can. The whole idea behind that was to find out what would be the best uh, processing technique for the coffees that we have here at Jack Morat's Coffee. And uh, there is no other way to find out unless you do different method methodologies and processing techniques to find out what is actually working here. So we've done 11 different processing techniques. We've had a fantastic experience here. We've sort of walked in the farmer's shoes for a little bit and realized the, the challenges that they face. I mean, what we experienced here last year was a, a double flowering which has created this crop that is quite variegated. And through no fault of the farmers, he's got a situation that he's got to deal with. So we'd just like to really thank them. We came in at a difficult time for them where they had to actually delay the harvest by a couple of weeks. To Jack Morat and other small small farmers in Australia, it's something worth really worth pursuing. Um, it's not the most ideal conditions in the, in the world, but there is a great demand for Australian product and we'd like to collaborate as much as possible to get maybe those, those few extra little steps in the process to get the great flavour in the cup. We've been out here for three days picking coffee cherries, the sticky hands, dirt under the fingernails. I just want to get out there and spread the word, you know, tell everybody about it, get, invite everybody up here to do the same thing. Because that's the thing about specialty coffee is that we just want to share it with the whole world. You know, some people say, oh, well, you know, what's the difference in one cup of coffee to the next? But once you start educating and people go like, wow, here, yeah, I can taste the difference, I can get those nuances in the cup. That's what we, we just love to do and igniting that passion and then just sharing it around as, as much as possible. We want to be the guys that are on the ground floor sharing our passion and getting great flavor in everybody's cup. All along the way, I've been learning off others and the whole team has just been learning and learning. Coffee is forever evolving, never, never stays the same. And that's the, the, the reason I love Zest, is that we're always changing, we're always innovating, we're moving with the next thing. We can turn corners, we've got nimble, an agile company, and we can stay at the forefront. And that's what Zest is. Zest is that, that edgy bit, you know, the, the, the bit of spritz in the, in the lemon. That's what, who we are. Energy, flavor, passion.